Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with my friend Emanuela. We are gonna show you how to do this amazing cut crease, glam, fashion, glittery um, makeup for Christmas or New Year's Eve. And let's start with the brows. I'm gonna comb them upwards and I'm gonna fill them with deep down fluid line from MAC. And we're gonna do eyes first because we're gonna use glitters. We're gonna have a very heavy fallout. So I don't wanna ruin the base. That's why we start from the eyes. So I'm just filling the eyebrows in. But my friend has got really amazing brows so I don't need loads of work. And now as a primer we use the Soft Ochre Paint Pot from MAC on the whole eyes up and also at the bottom. I am gonna curl the lashes and now we start with the shadow. From my screen face palette I take this caramel um, eyeshadow which is perfect for um, defining the crease and with the 217 from MAC we are just gonna blend it into the crease. Now we take a casual pencil, this is from MAC, it's feline, it's a black coal pencil and we're just gonna trace a line a little bit upwards the normal crease and we're gonna blend it with a small detailed brush, soft one um, and after we take a pointed brush we keep blending the product and in the end you should have um, a similar result to this one now we put a tissue underneath the eyes and on a cotton bud we're gonna uh, apply some eyelash glue to the whole eyelid we are gonna use these amazing silver 3d glitters from mac and with a flat synthetic brush i'm gonna press the glitters against the eyelid you want to be very precise with this job you don't want to touch the crease we did and if you do you can use the brush as i'm doing now you use a clean mascara wound to get rid of the glitters on the lashes in the crease and also on the skin i want my crease to be more defined so i'm going back with the cold pencil and we are blending again so we are repeating the process we did at first and also blending with the pointed brush together with the caramel shadow now we wanna clean up uh, the area under the brows, I'm using liquid concealer on a flat eyeliner brush and then with a clean blending brush, this is from Makeup Forever, we are gonna blend the concealer together with the shadow and we're gonna define a little bit the crease as well. And now it's time for eyeliner, I'm using a bourgeois liquid liner straight with the brush that comes with but if you hate these brushes, which I hate too, you can use an eyeliner brush like a 210 from MAC. I'm gonna do a pointed inner corner and we are doing the flick in the end. Uh, I'm sorry if I don't do it on the camera, but as I was standing on the side, it was a bit hard. And now we go back with the black coal in the waterline on top and bottom and also a little bit underneath the eyes, which I'm gonna blend with the black eyeshadow. It's time for mascara on top and bottom lashes. And of course, to have very flattery eyes, we're gonna add some eyelashes. These are from Red Cherry, I think it's number 43. Now moving to concealer, I'm using Select Moisture Cover from MAC in number NW25, which is a really hydrating concealer. As a foundation, I'm using the Estee Lauder Double Wear in the shade Rattan, which is the same one I use, and we're gonna set the base with some Studio Fix powder in NT25. It's time to contour the face from my sleek contouring palette. I'm gonna take the matte brown shadow and I'm gonna apply it to the hollows of the cheeks. This is gonna sculpt, sculpt our face and gonna make it longer. Now we take the bronzer shade and we're gonna apply a little bit upwards the shade we created already just to warm everything up. And as a blush, we're gonna take this orange one from a blush 
palette always from sleek makeup and apply to the middle part of the cheeks as highlighter I'm using my amazing soft and gentle from MAC we use it to the top of the cheeks bridge of the nose and on the cupid's bow I forgot as well the nose we're gonna contour a bit to make it look slimmer and on the lips I'm gonna use wire lip pencil which is one of the favorite pencil of this Kardashian sister and as a lipstick I'm using the cream sheen creme de nude always from MAC because I want really nude lips so we're gonna do the shape with the pencil and fill them in with the lipstick on a brush And here you got the finished look, I hope you like it. As always, if you like the video, please thumb it up, share it on your social and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching, I'll see you to the next one.